Hello everybody. Today we're going to continue with lesson 3.4 and we're going to talk about adding three add-ins. So that simply means how do you add three numbers, okay? Remember add-ins are digits that we add together. So on this one I actually want you to go ahead and try to solve the problems first. Go ahead and write the sums in each of the boxes and then we'll review uh, your di different ways that you solve those problems. So go ahead and pause the video and, and solve the problems. Okay. All right. So 2 plus 6, what strategy did you use? Well, one way you could have done it is start at 6 and just add 2 more, right? 6, 7, 8. You could have gone from two and added six to that. So there's no right or wrong way to do it. Some of you might have just looked at six and two and said, oh, that's eight. And that's fine. How about three and three? Well, that's a double fact, right? So we should know three plus three is six. Five plus four. Did anybody use a double fact for that one? Change the 5 to a 4. Go 4 plus 4 is 8. And add one more. 9. 4 and 1. That one was pretty easy, right? 4 and 1 is just one more than 4, which is 5. 7 and 3. That makes a 10, right? And 5 and 2, or 2 and 5. One way to do it is starting at five and add two more, five, six, seven, or you could have started at two and added five to that. But however you did, we come up with seven. Okay. All right, page 134. All right, so we can group numbers in different ways to add. We would choose choose two of the three add-ins and look for facts that you know. And keep in mind that changing the way the numbers are grouped does not change the sum. Changing the way numbers are grouped does not change the sum. So here, if you looked at 3 plus 2 plus 7, you said, oh, I know what 3 plus 2 is. That's 5. Okay, so now we're left with 5 plus 7. Well, you could do a double. 5 plus 5 is 10 and add 2 more. That's 12. You could have started at 7 and added 5 more. But however you got to added the second one is 7 plus 5 is 12. You might have looked at this. Again, look at here. We had 3 plus 2 plus 7, 3 plus 2 plus 7. And here, let's say we looked at this and said, oh, 7 and 2, that's 9. Well, then that leaves us 3 plus 9. 9 and count on 3, we still get 12. Maybe you looked at this and said, oh, 7 and 3, that makes a 10. Well, let's combine those two. 3 plus 7 is 10, and then we would add 2 to 10. Okay. So again, there's no um, right or wrong method here. It's the idea of finding two math facts that you know, a uh, math fact that you know, and add the third add into that. So number one, solve two ways and circle the two add-ins you had first. So here you might look at one plus eight plus two and say, oh well, one plus eight, that's just that's just nine. And then you might go nine and count on two more. Well let's say eleven. But somebody else might look at this and say, oh eight and two, that makes a ten. and then add the one to the 10. So one plus 10 is 11. So again, you notice that it doesn't affect the sum. Seven plus three plus three. Well, I know seven and three makes a 10, and 10 plus three is simply 13. But maybe you looked at this, And combine three plus three because you said, oh, I know that's a double fact. And seven plus six, right? We could still use another double fact to solve this, right? 
6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. Somebody might say, could I have circled this 7 and this 3 and then added the, the remaining 3? Yep, because 7 plus 3 makes a 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. All right, number 3, 4 plus 2 plus 4. Well, maybe I know that 4 plus 4 is 8, because that's a doubles fact. And 8 plus 2 is 10. We can also say 4 plus 2 is 6. And 6 plus 4, that also makes a 10. 2 plus 8 plus 2. Wow. Well, 10 plus 2. We still have 8 plus 2 if we go that way, right? We would just have 2 plus 10, and that's still 12. Could you have combined the 2s and added 8 to the sum of 2 plus 2? Yeah, you could have done 4 plus 8. All right, number 5. Again, circle the two numbers that you're going to that you add first. So I look at 3 plus 2 plus 6, and I'm going to go ahead and add the 3 and the 2. And that gives me 5. 5 plus 6. Well, that's the same as 5 plus 5 plus 1. So that's 11. Maybe I can combine 6 and 2. That would give me 8, and we'd have 3 plus 8. Well, I know... Now I can just count forward from 8, or just know that 8 plus 3 is 11. 7 plus nothing plus 2. Well, if I look at that, I say 7 plus 0, that's just 7. And 7 plus 2 is 9. Maybe I looked at it and said, oh no, 2 plus 0 is 2. And 7 plus 2 is 9. Page 135. Solve two ways. Circle the two add-ins you add first. 4 plus 1 plus 6. Well, I know that a 4 plus 6 makes a 10. And 10 plus 1 is 11. But maybe we want to go 4 plus 1. If I do 4 plus 1 first, that leaves me 5 plus 6. And 5 plus 5 is 10, plus an extra 1 is 11. 4 plus 3 plus 3. Hmm. Well, I know my doubles fact. 3 plus 3 is 6. And 4 plus 6, that makes a 10. 4 plus 3, that's 7. And 7 plus 3, that makes a 10. 1 plus 5 plus 3. Well, maybe I'm just going to combine the 5 and the 3. That makes 8. And 1 plus 8 is just 9. Maybe we go 1 plus 5 is 6. And 6 plus 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 plus 4 plus 4. I see that 6 and 4, that makes a 10. And 10 plus 4, that's just 14. I could also combine 6 and 4, right? I can combine the first 6 and the second 4. That still makes a 10. So I still have 4 plus 10, which is 14. Did you have gone 8 plus 6? Yeah. 5 plus 5 plus 5. Um, okay. Well, 5 and 5 is 10, and 10 and 5 is 15. 5 and 5. So no matter how I combine these, I'm still going to have some number 10 plus 5. All right, number 12, 7 plus 0 plus 6. Let's combine the 7 and the 0. That gives me 7. 
and 7 plus 6. I'm going to use doubles. 6 and 6 is 12, plus 1 more is 13. All right, how about 6 and 0 instead? Oh, well, I still get 7 and 6, so 13. 5 plus 3 plus 4. Well, maybe I'm going to combine the 5 and the 4 to make 9. And 9 plus 3 is 12. I could also just combine the 5. I can also just combine the 5 and the 3 to get 8. And 8 plus 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 4 plus 2 plus 5. Well, <clears throat> if we start with 4 and 2, that gives me 6, right? 6 plus 5. I could use a double stack. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 1 more is 11. Maybe I combine the 4 and the 5 to get 9. And 9 plus 2 is 11. All right, 15. Write the missing add end. All right. Well, we need to come up with this missing number, right? We know that the three numbers added together should give me 14. So if we start here, 5 and 5, that's 10. 10 plus what is 14? 10 plus what is 14? 4. 4 plus Something plus 4 gives me 12. Well, here, let's combine the two 4s, and that gives us 8. 8 plus what is 12? Well, 8 plus 2 is 10, and 10 plus 2 is 12. So 2 twos is 4. Some 3 plus some number plus 7 is 11. Well, let's combine the 3 and the 7. And that gives us 10, right? So 10 plus what would give me 11? Just 1. 11 is just 1 more than 10, right? 5 plus 3 plus something is 13. All right. So 8 plus what is 13? Count forward. 8, 9, 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. So 5. And that makes sense. 5 and 5 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. All right, choose a way to solve on page 136 and write or draw to explain. Nick, Alex, and Sophia eat 15 raisins in all. Now, it doesn't say they each eat 15. It says in all. So between the three of them, they eat 15 raisins. Nick and Alex each eat four raisins. How many raisins does Sophia eat? So we know that Nick and Alex ate four raisins. So let's write that. Nick, four, Alex, four, and we have to find out Sophia. So when we say in all, that means we're going to combine the three people, and it needs to add up to 15. Well, if we add 4 and 4, we get 8. 8 plus what is 15? Well, I know 8 plus 8 is 16. So 16 is one more than 15. So it's not 8, but 7. All right, 20. There are five green grapes and four red grapes in a bowl. Eli puts four more grapes in the bowl. How many grapes are in the bowl now? All right, we know there are five green and four red, and he put four more. So we had five and four, and we added four more. 
So how much do we have? And again, doesn't matter which two we combine first. So I'm going to combine 5 and 4. And I get 9. And 9 plus 4. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 grains. Mrs. Moore bought 4 small apples, 6 medium apples, and 3 large apples. How many apples did she buy? So we have four small, six medium, and three large. Those are all apples. So four plus six plus three. For I know that six and four makes a ten. So I want to combine those. And ten plus three is thirteen. All right. So that's it for adding three add-ins. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.